Have you ever noticed the sign wanted salesperson but female only? Have you wondered why women are preferred for some jobs? If you have, then here's the three word answer for you. Objectification of women. But isn't it time that stops? Unfortunately, the world of sport is also not immune to it. In fact, sports associations and the cultures surrounding them enforce the policing of female bodies manifested through sexist uniforms. They are designed to present women in a way that appeals to the main male gaze and regrettably takes place at all levels of sports. Two United Airlines flight attendants are suing the airline over allegations that they were prevented from working on flights chartered by the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team because they did not fit a certain look, quote unquote, of being white, young, thin, blonde and blue eyed. The applicants in their lawsuit asserted that they were overlooked for and eventually removed from such flights in favor of female staff who were young and thin. The history and evolution of female, test uniform, te female tennis uniforms is yet another example of how women have been appreciated for their femininity or their sexuality rather than their athletic competence since they first entered the sports arena. And a well-known example of this is when Serena Williams wore a Nike cat suit during the 2018 French Open, which was met with outrage, while she technically did not break the dress code. The French Tennis Federation president in an interview with a tennis magazine declared that it will no longer be accepted and one must respect the game and the place. In fact, the sexualization of women in sports and telling them what to do runs far deeper than the claim that sex sells. The marginalization of female athletes or workers in, is not just a product of what happens on the playing field or the workplace, but it's also linked to how we view those on the field or the court or the pitch. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.